welcome back to my channel so I've got a suggestion from one of you to do my entire violin collection video and uh, you know I thought about this and this is gonna be a pain <laughs> to bring all those violins and show you here so if you do want to see all of them I thought maybe I'll just do kind of a few at a time because yeah <laughs> it will have to be like a mega video i just have a quite few of them and i just don't know if you are even interested in seeing all of them but today i'm gonna talk about my two favorite violins because those are basically the two violins that i use on an everyday basis so maybe this is gonna be more <laughs> you know interesting for you to see so if you want to hear about this violence um keep on watching all right, I'm gonna start with the violin that I use the most and the instrument I'm talking about is this one. This is a Sebastian Klotz violin. This is a violin made in Germany. This is a German maker from, I think he was born in the 1700s. This particular violin is from about 1750. I purchased this violin quite a few years ago. I do have actually like a whole kind of unboxing of this violin. I, I can try to link it up there somewhere so you guys can see it. Uh, we purchased it, my husband and I, we purchased this from, I think it was the auction in London. And they shipped this violin for us in this big kind of, you know, wooden box. And it was like a whole thing to open this up. You know, I had to wait for my husband to literally drill it because, um, but hey, it worked. It worked they shipped the violin you know obviously the you know everything was kind of out you know the bridge and sound post i had to all set it up take it to my local you know violin shop uh but since the moment i've got this violin i start playing on it i really truly enjoy this instrument so this very quickly became my kind of a practice violin this is where i spent most of my hours on this is the violin i use this is the violin i use for teaching and i will also occasionally work uh take my this violin to work to play if the symphony you know when we perform a pop serious pop concerts this is the violin i'll take with me so most of the day most of the day i spent you know with this violin so it is beautiful i mean take a look at those beautiful colors this this kind of an umber you know color of a varnish is just spectacular i absolutely love this one piece back oh, this is this is just amazing i there is something about a one piece bags you know i know they're less common than two pieces you know of the bag but this is just beautiful. I mean, look at this. This is truly amazing. Um, beautifully, beautifully made instrument. Here's the side view. There we go. Yeah. And I do often get a question, why do I have two tuners? I just like it this way, all right? I work at the symphony. We have to usually tune up very quickly. Well, except now we are on the quarantine period but you know when we do work uh we have to tune it up quickly sometimes i just find annoying to tune with the a pack and you know if and sophie motor can have two tuners i can have it as well that is always my answer so yeah i do keep two tuners because it's just just for the ease you know so um and my also my choice of my chin rest is the guarnieri style but I do have a very kind of a low profile. They are ones that are can get a little high, sometimes have a like little bump hump. Uh, but this one is a low profile. I think these are like some kind of um, Chinese made, you know, but this is all ebony, you know, it's all wood. And this is, this is the one I like. This is, I have been using for a few years. When I was in college, I actually liked the center style chin rest. Things are changing, <laughs> you know, we are changing. We are getting, you know, just a little different. So this is what I have been using for the past 10 years probably or so. The violin also is in amazing condition. There is one crack that it was repair. Um, I don't know when <laughs> because it came all perfect, but there is one crack in here. This is the only crack that it was on this instrument. So everything else is, is just perfect. It's just perfection. 
I am completely in love with this violin. I did test it quite a few different strings on this violin. Um, I think most of them sounds good. <laughs> I did a recently video showing you how I cleaned this instrument and I did change the strings. I'll again I'll link them up there so you can go ahead and check it out. Here is the scroll. If I can show you here a little bit of the details. I think it's you know it's very beautiful. Here's the back view. There we go. And I did not change the packs, you know, I know the packs on the chin wrist and tail piece is not really matching. I think those are rosewood, if I'm not mistaken. They're like a kind of a dark rosewood. That's how it came. Um, I only changed, I think, the tail piece and I did definitely change the chin wrist. So, um, yeah, but I, you know, the packs are working. It's fine. It doesn't have to be matchy-matchy. But yeah, this is pretty much the instrument that I will use every day um i teach a lot so obviously i you know use this for teaching i use this for practicing <laughs> you know and uh like i mentioned sometimes i'll take it to the symphony for the pops concerts as well so this is basically something that i use it every day all right the next violin i'm gonna talk about i'm gonna feature here is my is my baby violin is my this is like my third child <laughs> you know this violin is so precious for me that I try not to practice on it um, unless it's like, you know, a few days before the performance or I do rehearse for a particular um, concert. You know, if I go to the symphony, let's say I uh, rehearse for all the Masterworks concerts, I do take this violin with me. So most of the time when I play in the symphony, this is the violin. But at home for my daily practice, I don't use it. And the violin I'm talking about is Antonio Gregnani beautiful beautiful violin this is my italian baby <laughs> so um as you can tell probably looks color wise it looks a little bit similar to the clothes violin it's again this beautiful kind of an amber varnish varnish finished again i do have a two tuners i do have the same set of the strings on this um yes it's a beautiful beautiful instrument again it's a one piece back and this particular violin, it was made in 1775, I believe. Um, so by Antonio Gregnani. And Antonio Gregnani was an Italian violin maker who was working in basically, you know, having his workshop in Livorno, Italy. I think it's a Tuscany kind of a region of Italy. This is where he created his instrument and yeah his instrument can go quite high these days we got this violin a few years ago a couple of years ago we purchased this from the Teresio auction this is the fine again fine instrument auction in new york city um that's where i got it and i could not be happier about this violin this is this violin sounds amazing amazing all the videos that i have on my channel or i'm gonna say 98 percent of them i do play on this violin so if you want to check it out go listen to the sound there's like a whole playlist you know of my channel of you know videos that i have please go check it out i gonna link some of them up there please go check it out so you can listen to the sound if you're not familiar but this violin, it's again, you know, Italy, Italian violins are considered, in Thailand makers are considered to be the best, you know, makers in the world when it comes to the violins. And this violin is no exception. This maker is no exception. The violin is just gorgeous. Um, it's just beautiful. You know what's different characteristic about the Antonio Grognani violins? Do you see this little uh, initials? There we go. You can see AG. So he put his initials always there. So all his violins will have his initials right there. There another pair of initials is actually you won't be able to see, but it's literally under the um, the fingerboard is right there. So it's like if you look at the violin, is right here, but on the top of the violin, you won't be able to tell. But there is another <laughs> AG, and the third one is right here. There we go. So, yeah, Antonio Gragnani put always his initial in those three places. 
everything is um, you know original like in the other violin as well you know sometimes they do have different tail uh, different you know scrolls or something no my both violins are made by one person so this is Antonio Grugniani scroll this is how it looks from this side there we go on this side yeah um, so yeah violin is beautiful I absolutely love everything about this instrument again I do have the same kind of a low um, you know chin wrist which I like and the sound of this violin is just spectacular and I love how how easy is actually to play on this violin um, you don't need much effort you know to create a beautiful sound it's just there give it a little spin and it's just everything is just there so it's very easy to play it's a beautiful instrument quick response I mean there's yeah this is like a real pleasure this is like driving probably the most comfortable car <laughs> you know you can have so yeah I cannot afford strats or Guarnieri del Gesù <laughs> but you know this is what I can afford and you know obviously this is a huge investment you know any of the violins that you um, purchase you know those are the investments you know th this is the money you spending this is your investment this is your future you know as a violinist and especially if you're a professional violinist you need to you know invest in a good concert violin so this particular violin is my concert violin this is you know this is a special treat to play on this violin. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, obviously, if you're new to my channel. Um, if you want me to do, if you want me to show you another pair of two violins, <laughs> and you know, I'll be happy to do it. I still have, um, I have a Gagliano violin, which I, it's a beautiful instrument, don't get me wrong, but it's just not my taste. You know, violin has to click with you. Huh? Violin, it's like not one violin will fit all. You know, you have to like, it's a little bit more of a darker tone violin and I'm not a particular fan of a very dark sounding instrument. So, uh, but I do own that Gagliano and I do own the Stora violin. Yeah, just let me know you guys. And then obviously I have a, you know, some modern, more modern instruments and, and that stuff. So also if you want me to do a video with my bows I can do that as well if that's something you're interested at I have probably two or maybe three three favorite bows that I like and then again depend what I will play <laughs> you know in what uh, setting I'll you know pick different bows but yeah I would say I have three that I kind of use on the regular rotation and then the rest is just there <laughs> but if you want me to do the bow collection or you know show you my favorite please let me know give it a thumbs up obviously that's why i'll know um but yeah leave a comment what do you think about those instruments and please share with me what is your favorite instrument what are you playing on so um yeah all right guys i hope you are all safe have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you soon